Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to set up your Xbox Series X and it should also be similar if you have the Series S but in the box itself you should get this little instruction guide that walks you through the steps on how to set this thing up. So step number one, we are going to be plugging in the power as well as the HDMI to the TV. Then we're going to set up the console through the Xbox application. Then we're going to turn on the console, pair the controller, and then we should be good to go. So step number one is going to be taking the power cord. And this side is going to go into the back of your Xbox. And then the other end is, of course, going to be plugged in to a wall outlet. And then the next step is going to be taking the HDMI cord. And one end is going to plug into this HDMI slot at the bottom of your Xbox. And the other end is going to be plugged into one of the HDMI ports that are on the back of your TV. And here in my example, my HDMI ports are right here on the back of my television. And oftentimes these are going to be labeled. Make note of this because when you're trying to find the right source or input for the HDMI, it's nice to know which one is actually the one you plugged into. So I'm going to plug in here to HDMI 1. And then at this point, what we want to do is turn the console on by clicking the power button in the upper left hand corner. And then over on your TV, you wanna make sure you're on the right HDMI input. So right now I'm on HDMI one. When the Xbox powered on, it eventually takes you to the screen to help you complete the setup through the Xbox application. Now to get to whatever HDMI that you're plugged into on your TV's remote, oftentimes there's gonna be a button that says source or input, or it might even be labeled HDMI. And when you click on those buttons, it should cycle through the different inputs that are on your TV. So for me, it's HDMI 1, so that's what I select. And it takes me over to that particular input, which my Xbox is plugged into. If you're having a hard time figuring out how to get over to the proper HDMI input on your TV, I recommend going over to Google, searching in your particular TV, and asking how you go about changing the HDMI input on your television. And there should be helpful information and resources on the internet through Google. All right, guys, so now the next step is going to be setting things up through the Xbox application on your phone. So I'll take you over to that. All right, guys, so now over on your smartphone, what we're looking to do is download the Xbox application if you don't already have it. So you can see that I have the Xbox Game Pass on my phone. That's not the app that we're looking for. So we're going to go to the Google Play Store and open up where you're going to be downloading the app. And then in the Google Play Store, in the search bar, type in Xbox. And in the drop down menu, there should be an Xbox application option to click on. And then go ahead and click install. And once it's finished downloading and installing, you can open up the application right from this page, or you can go back to your home page. And the Xbox app should pop up on one of your home pages. All right, so now I'm gonna launch the Xbox application. And then at the bottom, it says set up console. So that's what I'm gonna click on. And then it says enter the code that is on your TV. So previously we were on the proper HDMI and it showed us a code. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my specific code into this area. And then after you type in your specific code, click where it says connect to console and then allow device location access. And then it says connected with your console. So I'm gonna click next. And then here you can confirm your language and location and then click next. And then here it's going to get your console connected to the internet. So select whichever Wi-Fi router that you want your console to hook up to. For me, it's going to be X522. And then type in your router's password and then click join. And then it says your console is online. So then we're going to click next. And then there's probably going to be a pretty big update. So we're going to go ahead and go through with the update. Click next. And then you can choose a power mode for your Xbox. This is just personal preference. I'm probably just gonna go with the energy saver option. And then you can also set up your sign in and security preferences on your particular Xbox. It just depends on what you're looking for for your particular situation. Once you have selected the option that you want, then go ahead and click next. And then I'm gonna enable instant sign in for my particular Xbox. And then you can also choose the option of keeping your games and apps up to date automatically. So I'm gonna have that and click next. And then another option here is either turning on or off remote features. When remote features are turned on, your phone can communicate with your console anytime you want. And at least at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this option. And if you're not already at this point, it's gonna have you sign in with your Xbox profile. So I'm gonna click next. And at that point, you'll also be able to create an Xbox account if you don't already have one. For me, I've had an Xbox account 
for over a decade and that's the same one that I'm using in this instance. And then on the how we use your data page, go ahead and click next. And then help make your Xbox experience better. You can send optional data or not, it's up to you. And then also we share data with publishers. So once you read through that also, go ahead and just click next. And then it'll ask you if you want Xbox offers and publisher offers. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off and then click next. And then if you want, it'll ask you if you want to link your accounts from other areas such as Facebook or Steam so that you can find friends or things such as that. So that's optional if you wanna do that. And at this point, we're now done setting things up on our phone. So you can explore the Xbox app on your phone while your console updates, or you can go ahead and finish the updating process and get things started by pairing your controller. That's what I'm gonna take you over to for the next step in this process. All right, guys, so the final step is gonna be setting up the controller that comes with your Xbox and then pairing it with the console. So on the back of the controller, take off the battery compartment and then take the batteries, put them into the back of the compartment. You wanna make sure that you're putting them in the proper direction. And then put the case back on. And then power on the controller. And then the next thing that you wanna do is hold down the pairing button here in the bottom right hand corner. It's right above the little USB port here at the bottom. So we're gonna hold that down to put in pairing mode. And then after that, we're gonna go over to our controller and hold down the pairing button on the controller until it goes into pairing mode. And then after maybe about five to 10 seconds, it should sync up and your controller should pair successfully with your Xbox. So then we click A on the controller to get things set up. And it says, let's update your controller. So again, we're gonna click A to update controller. And then after it's updated, go ahead and click A on your controller. And if you want, you can join Xbox Game Pass Ultimate by selecting the Join Now option. You can see other plans. You can use a code that you might have for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, or you can say no thank you. And then it's going to ask to find the best settings for your TV. And then it says, how does this look? Do you want to keep your display at 4K or try another resolution? So you can either go back or keep the display how it is. And then it says, let's go. You're all done setting up your Xbox. Time to play Take Me Home. And then it's going to take you over to the home screen of your new Xbox. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set things up. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you back here next time.